let's go over my current hair care routine while there is hair literally attached. Okay, I know this seems like a lot of stuff, but I promise it all makes sense when I go through it, so hang on. I got too lazy to do my own hair today, so we're just gonna leave it up. I think it's fine. First up, shampoo and conditioner. I've actually really, really been loving the R & Co shampoo and conditioner. My hairstylist put me onto this brand, and I have a really, really itchy scalp for no reason. Like, the underneath gets really, really itchy, and I don't really have dandruff or anything like that. I think it's just certain products that I've been using in the past made it really itchy. These do not. Very clarifying, but it's also not like stripping the oil out of my hairs, which is great for curly hair. I think that it's really conditioning. It's really more moisturizing but it's not too much but I'm not like wow 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 but the combo together I love and I'll probably be buying these again then on a wash day I wanted to go over this the night before I actually combine these two in my hair this is just the Sienna Naturals Daily Elixir and then this is also the Brio Geo Scalp Revival Rosemary Pre-Wash Oil I will put these in my scalp literally together. It helps with an irritated scalp. It helps with itchiness. I also like to think that it's making my hair healthier and helping it grow. I'm not actually sure. I just started this honestly at the beginning of this month and I've really, really been liking it though. And I do notice that my hair is not nearly as dry or as frizzy at the roots. And I think it's because it's finally getting moisture at the roots. Whereas most of the time I was shampooing, I think too much. When I go to shampoo, especially if I've noticed that I had so much product in my hair or it's been a minute since I shampooed my hair, I will actually go in with this first. This is the Brio Geo Scalp Revival Charcoal and Coke oil micro exfoliating shampoo i didn't really like scalp scrubs <laughs> a whole bunch because i realized that i just couldn't actually get them to my scalp but this one it just it suds a little and it just gets into all the nooks and crannies and i think also the charcoal and then i think there's tea tree oil in it as well i don't know it makes my scalp not feel nearly as irritated and it's great i will go back in with the shampoo that i was just talking about i do kind of like a double cleanse of sorts then i will go and i'll use a hair mask i have two favorites right now this is like an all-time favorite it's the amica hydro rush i can't can't say enough about this I really really love it it's really really great and I think it's great for all hair types I'll use it overnight I'll use it just in the shower I'll use it as a conditioner I'll use it as a leave-in I really 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 love this one as well as soul food from them it's also really great uh, the other one that I just started using this month is the way thick hair hair mask I think next time I get it I'm going to get the thin or medium hair because I do think I have a lot of hair but my actual hair strands are really, really fine. So I think I need the fine hair mask just because I think this one is a little bit too heavy. Like, I mean, she's really thick. Like she's like a butter consistency thick. So getting into my actual curly hair routine of sorts. I've been starting with this Sol de Janeiro Milky Leave-In Conditioner and I'm actually, I think today, I'm going to mix it in with my spray bottle with my water just because it's, it's really nice, but it comes out really, really milky, like pretty thick. And I think I just want to see what it would be as a softer consistency but this leaves my hair so soft i did my routine with this one day and then i did it without it the next day literally the exact same products except this i changed for a different leave-in conditioner this leaves my hair so soft also it smells so so good it's just the very if you know what sol de janeiro smells like it's that exact scent then i go in with the way curl cream i actually found this product on tiktok because everyone kept using it for their curls and waves and i will say it is really really great i I'm almost out, so I'm probably gonna buy another one of these because I really, really like it. Then I have been using the Not Your Mother's Frizz Control Curl Talk Sculpting Gel. This is the Flexible Firm Hold and three for all curl types. I like it, but I do not use a lot of it because I've realized that it will make my hair really, really crunchy. Almost just gunky throughout the day if I use too much, but it is great if you just use the tiniest amount. But honestly, with everything else that I put in my hair, that leave-in and then the curl cream, then this, it's just honestly to hold in that cast and just to hold in the moisture. Everything else is working and I think this just makes my hair have an uninterrupted moment to dry. I really, I started to really like it. Plus it's really cheap, which is a plus. Currently don't know where mine is, but luckily enough, IGK actually just sent me a new one. Thank you, IGK. I didn't even know you guys have my address. This is the Spirulina Protein Smoothing Spray. This also has heat protectant in it. When I say this will wake you up, it's definitely really strong. Don't know why it's this strong, IJK, why is it this strong? It works so well. This is the heat protectant that I will put on my hair before I diffuse my hair, just because, again, I don't have the time. I have to diffuse. And then the last step that I've been using in my curly hair routine, I can always do another one where I show you guys what I use when I straighten my hair, but I haven't really been straightening my hair hardly at all. Living Proof, I really, really love this oil. It's their Frizz Vanishing Oil. Plain and simple, that's all I can say. I used to use the OGX one, but I read a lot of comments on it saying that it was not good, and apparently that company has like, got multiple lawsuits out, so I just went to Living Proof. And I really like this one. Other oils, I feel like they're just, I don't know. I don't know, the consistency. That's why I like my OGX one so much because it was such a smooth consistency. It wasn't, I don't know, some oils, they're just too thick for my hair, I think. So this one, this one's nice. 
So yeah, that is all of my curly hair products kind of dissected in one go, but let me know if you guys like this. I enjoy doing this kind of content, so I think it's fun.